Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT, the I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T. What up, Joni? Oh, you know, just having a rony. That's a, that's a vanilla ice joke, not a situation joke. Is it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that song, dude. It's... What it's like, that 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 having a rony. Yeah, well, see, that doesn't really resonate with people when they hear that word. Now, I don't think anybody thinks from the lights, Jonas. But wow. you know, whatever. Wow. Anyways, if you hate me, you hate us. Thank you for joining us. Today. I am, yeah, Jonas. I mean, I know TNT hates me. It's okay. Totally changed my view on you today. <laughs> All of a sudden, you're like, I can't do this anymore. No. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today on the Crazy Now Podcast. Uh, whether you're following us on uh, Spotify and iTunes, make sure you follow there. Or, uh, you know, follow our YouTube channel, Crazy Town Media. Uh, has, a bu- has a podcast plus a bunch of other things. You can come hang out with TNT Dynamite live as he streams on Twitch. TNT, D-I-N-O-M-I-G-H-T underscore Crazy Town on Ba-da-da-da-da-da. Twitch TV every morning at 9. <laughs> now that the commercials are over. Welcome, friends. Well, and look, dude, that was a new one. So, yeah. Yeah, come, dude. Come and get. Do you want me to put that in there with my intro normally? I'll, I'll do no, it for you. No, I'm, well, on the video game videos, you got trouble telling You think what... I, I just did it perfectly. <laughs> perfectly. Yeah, that was perfect. Well, distracted, and I just woke up, and I just took a poop, and. <laughs> wow. Yeah, exactly. Man, you're a man of many talents. You're a multitasking friend. I can do stuff a lot. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> you told me you had a story. I do. I'm ready. I don't know what this is. I'm ready to. I'm ready to. Oh, dive I'm, I'm in. going first. Yeah, dude. You said it's a. It's a big one. <laughs> I didn't say it was a big one. I just said it was irrelevant. And he said it'll go. Is this the one where we're talking about the thing that we were just talking about, or is this the one I was talking about? I'm gonna talk about it. You talk about it. Okay. Well, yeah, this sorry. is the one that like we need to delve in. All right, fine. Well. NASCAR has been doing. Oh, I heard all about this. Yeah, let's well, go. There's a, there's a couple different ones actually. And they, but I'm gonna we're gonna start small, ease you in. <laughs> right. We just don't want to ram at home, Joe. Right. But now we're not, we're gonna put some lube on it. Yeah, first. we're gonna we're gonna tease you, girl. Okay, you ready? <laughs> gonna do a little right. faux play. So a little backstory. NASCAR, obviously, all sporting events have been canceled. They've been doing virtual races. Question though, What's why up? can't NASCAR drivers drive a race? They're in a car. But who's going to come and see it? But they could still race for money. Uh, yeah, but then you got the pit crew. They're close. And, they're oh, close yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're uh, all in each other's yeah, space. Okay, yeah. But what, like, I don't understand how they're doing the virtual races. Is it like a video they, game? Yeah, and they just set the racers up in their homes. And they have like full, like the racing um program or game that they're playing they have like full setup so oh it's, so it's like a full nascar training game essentially essentially it is okay, yeah cool. and it's the closest thing to reality that they can get in these difficult times right either way the important part is that uh they had one racer by the name of bubba wallace he was doing a virtual race and uh another racer tapped somebody and they went flying careening into the wall they bounced off they caused an accident Bubba Wallace Did got, he get hurt? It was a, I know. Just when an they, <laughs> <laughs> Bubba Wallace was displeased by this and had a gamer moment. Even in like a virtual race, they're like he's like yep. wiling out at his friend. Yep, and he rage quit. He <laughs> <laughs> he rage he in turned the, the system right down in the middle of a yeah race. in the middle of a i guess what you would call an, an, a nascar sanctioned race he was just like nope <laughs> he's like fuck you buddy <laughs> and then you could and then you could imagine uh people were like hey dude you can't do that like you're still being paid here you know you just can't <laughs> right so he goes on twitter and he's like you know it's a video game people are mad at me for quitting a video game Come on. Talking about practice? Yes! <laughs> okay, so after that happened, one of his sponsors said that, uh, you know, they don't like quitters. They like winners. Oh, my God. He lost a sponsor for quitting yeah. the, the fake game? Yeah, Blue Emu dropped them, which is uh, they make, like, I think, motor oil or something. Whatever. Wow. I heard about the other one. but Sorry like, about But, it. like, it's like, how do you lose a sponsor when you're not even racing, dude? Like, exactly. Like... But that's not the only heated gamer moment oh, to arrive. I, I think I know this one. You know this one. This one has to do with Carl Larson. Oh, no. There's even another one. Little backstory. Carl Larson is a half-Japanese man, and he was actually brought into NASCAR 
on behalf of its diversity initiative oh my God. because they were too too many Caucasian guys in the pot. <laughs> All right. Not- <laughs> Look, you got everybody's a white dude. Bring somebody in here. Get some food. Get, yeah. get some, get some so they, diversity in here. So they brought in Carl Larson, very talented driver. He was uh, participating in another one of these virtual races. Okay. And uh, <laughs> races is such a funny word. <laughs> 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 why? Why? You, 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 why? Yes, why you is say? that funny? When you talk about race cars and you talk about races, <laughs> <laughs> racers racing, right? Yeah, They're yeah. gonna race. <laughs> racers doing the race yeah. thing. Racers got a race. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. <laughs> I'm gonna name that episode. Racers got a race. <laughs> so, in the middle of one of the uh, virtual events. He is speaking to one of his spotters, and obviously uh, he's like, his spotter is having difficulty hearing him. So he's like, hey, you can't hear me? And then he proceeds to say the N-word, I guess, I don't know, either as like a test. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a different, I thought the guy's name was somebody different, but no, okay, I did girl. hear that. Yeah, so I don't know if he was saying it like as a test to see if maybe <laughs> he can hear him, like, let me say something crazy, and right. maybe he can hear me. Turns out he was over a hot mic and everybody in the race, including the, the viewers, audience, yeah. yeah, all heard him and they began laughing <laughs> and there was a yikes in there. Well, yeah, because it's just like, it's just like, it's like the most probably awkward, like, it's just like, did that really just effing happen? Yeah. Like, what the F is going on? <laughs> like, look, we all say it at home, but we know better than the, <laughs> you gotta say that off mic. <laughs> but like, Okay. Like if you don't think people can hear you and you want to say something, like why why go there? That just proves that's such a common word in that dude's vocabulary. Yes, that that's the word he goes to. Yes, possess. they they say it very very flippantly, probably in the old batter's box. Yeah, right. Like if if like if I'm on a like I would probably be like dicks, dicks or something like that. You, you would. <laughs> That is a very common word used right, around dude, this I household. Mean, you're the dick guy, but like, it's your dick's rubbing off on me. <laughs> Jonas, I'm, I'm going to have to ask you to stop. <laughs> I, that, was, that was pun, in, <laughs> no, pun no, intended. No, it's funny. Um, it's uh, funny, but I'm going to have to ask right. you to stop. But like, yeah, like if that's the word you go to in a time of like, <laughs> can you hear me now? Like, yeah, I guess. What do you I, like when you're sitting with your homies drinking beer in the woods? Yeah, yeah, that's what they're like. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, Just like inward this, inward that, man. So he definitely uh, he got dropped by his racing he got team. Fired. Yeah, he, he got, got fired on his day off. Yeah, he got fired, and uh, you know there's it's like actually Reagan Friday. How you get fired on your day off? They're actually saying is like he's a very talented driver. That may be true. Um, there's some potentiality that he may get back into the league, NASCAR league. But it's just that's like it's if like, you can you find a sponsor that line of like where sponsors are questioning if they can even back you because of, like, things that come out of your effing mouth. Like, yeah. you're pretty, that's pretty much it, dude. Like, it could be LeBron James come out on TV who is, like, basically anything he that sponsors him would turn to gold. And if he comes yeah. out here saying honky this, honky that, whoa, sponsors whoa. are going to be like... Jonas language. Are going to be like, <laughs> uh... Sorry. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, if he starts... Yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't matter who you are. Michael Jordan could, could come out and start dropping racial slurs. I wonder, but is it really like the fact of like these businesses, do they care? Or is it just, we don't want to support th- that because honestly, we know that black okay, people buy take, our ish. Hot fucking take. It's PR. They don't care. Okay. Fair they enough. don't care what they say. It's that they know that if they associate with that, it could cause them negative press. Yeah, because and that's it. I'm not buying freaking anything. That are, right, I don't right. have a racist like owner or right, leader. Exactly. Well, I feel you, dude. I ain't yeah. a Papa John's pizza in fucking <laughs> years. <laughs> right. Once well, he's on the conference call dropping n bombs, yeah. like, you're like, oh. There's a lot of pizza places I out there. I'll go eat somebody somebody I, else's pizza. I don't support anything Hulk Hogan or Dog the Bounty Hunter or <laughs> Jesus, man. The list goes on and on, doesn't it? Hulk Hogan. <laughs> that Hulk Hogan Foreman girl. <laughs> Hulk Hogan 
Foreman grill. But that's about it, Jonas, man. So both of these guys, well, the first guy, obviously, he gets to keep his job because he just rage quit like a <laughs> right, right, right. Like a 14 year old. But you didn't yeah, like, yeah. offend an entire race of people. Yeah, you're immature because you <laughs> lost at a video game. You decided to quit and then question why. Somebody the, be mad at you. The video game you were getting paid for. But the other one, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you're getting paid to play a game, dude. If I was getting paid to play a game, I could be lose. If I was getting paid to say play Madden, I could be losing a thousand to nothing, and I wouldn't be in the slightest upset. Nope, with a big old smile on my face. Right, they'd be. I could be making twenty dollars, and I'd be like, still getting paid. <laughs> like, Amen, brother. Right, like you could be playing Overwatch, playing with the worst players ever, and you're just like, it's Give basically me that money. Yeah, Give me that's that basically money. my life anyway. When I play it for fun. <laughs> Right, exactly. Uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, I, I guess we have enough time to talk about the this more current uh, thing we were just talking about before we started. Sure. I want to do a quick hit though, a, a positive story. You know, we're getting those stimulus checks. Oh, uh, see, that's uh, what I was talking about. I could have brought my other topic. Oh, you want you want to save that? No, it's fine. Go ahead. All right. Well, I was just gonna say that uh, I saw I saw a story that a regular at a steakhouse mm-hmm. went uh went and picked up an order. And they just they put their entire stimulus check as the tip for the for the small steakhouse in their hometown. That's cool. So they said they split the twelve hundred bucks between all twelve like tw- all twelve employees got a hundred dollar tip. That's cool. Yeah, it's like I don't need it. Not not to outshine that story. Yeah, go ahead. But did you hear about uh, Tyler Perry? What did he do? He left a ten thousand dollar tip at one restaurant, which was enough to give every employee. A five hundred dollar tip. See, that's awesome. Like, I wish I had the sort of money that I could do that. Yeah. Like, I don't know why celebrities aren't out here like ordering from Papa, jo- not Papa John's, ordering from Domino's and just tipping the store a thousand dollars, dude. Amen, like, brother. Like, if I had um millions of dollars, why would I be like, I'm gonna Grubhub Taco Bell and tip the dude a hundred dollars for bringing it to me? Exactly. Like, <laughs> if I had the loot to do that, right? I would love, dude. I would be if I had money. I would definitely be a philanthropist yeah. for sure. It's just that like you can you can only be as generous as your means. You know what I mean? Like I ain't gonna put myself into destitution to help everybody else. No. I've definitely upped my tip game to the Grubhub guy or the uh, Postmates guy to the but yeah. 20, you've been you've been to the twenty percent mark. Yeah, you've been Postmating like a mofo out here. Is that is that a problem? Not dude. You <laughs> it's you're a supporting pandemic. You're, you're supporting local businesses. I'm staying my butt home where I'm supposed to stay in the, in the heat of a pandemic, unlike some people. <laughs> right, exactly. I'm not gonna name any names. Yeah, of these dude. People. Yeah, you know. Florida. <laughs> oh, dude, all the beaches are open. We can get back. That's a whole nother thing. <laughs> next episode, because <laughs> that has to do with my story. That's fresh. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe in the next episode we'll talk about. All right. Yeah. So, uh, but yeah, man. Uh, That's cool. Though. Yeah, dude. Like, I just, I just think that people. It's like people out here who have the means to do it, like, should do it. Yeah, like people were talking shit on Bill Gates because they feel he didn't really give it enough. I mean, come on, man. The dude gave like 150 million dollars of his own money. Is that how much he? Gave? I think it's something like that. Like I thought it was people are than. hating on Bill Gates right now. I don't know why. Did, oh, yeah. did I miss something? It's just that tendency for people to get mad. They're like, come on, man, that's pocket change to you. Yeah, I guess that's like when Bezos was like, I started a GoFundMe for my employees. It's like, bitch, you have. A hundred billion dollars. <laughs> Why do you need a GoFundMe? <laughs> yeah, you trying to GoFundMe for your employee? I, I like and I understand that all of that probably ain't liquid. Right, that's, right. That's, that's obviously like his uh, assets and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he yeah. don't have a hundred billion sitting in U.S. bank. No, he got some billions sitting oh, yeah. in a bank though. Right, exactly. He's sitting on some billions. Yeah, dude. He he has enough money that he could pay some people some money. He walk around with a bill in his pocket. Yeah, he has a, a billion dollar bill. <laughs> That'd be awesome. He's on it. Him and Bill Gates together <laughs> high fiving. <laughs> the billion dollar bill. Surrounded by strippers. Yeah, right. That's that's just what it is. So uh, I'll leave that one for the next one. Let's talk about. Oh, this is kind of relevant. So Major League Baseball. It's canceled. Yeah. Well, no. Not not quite. So <laughs> you. I mean, you, you've watched baseball before, right? <laughs> Unfortunately. Um. So basically. What they're discussing doing, because the, the season was supposed to start the beginning of April. It ain't. It has not. They haven't even went to spring training yet. Nope. So what they're talking about potentially doing, which is kind of neat, 
is most of the teams do their spring training in either Arizona or Florida. Like, actually, to be honest, I think every team mm -hmm. either trains in Arizona or Florida. And what they're talking about doing is having all the teams go to their spring training and stay in Arizona or Florida and play games in Arizona or Florida to limit travel and all that stuff. But they would completely eliminate the American League and the National League and just make brand new divisions for where they do their spring training. So, like, the Indians might be in a division with, like, the Dodgers just because they both do Arizona as their spring training or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then they would do a, a shortened season with no audience – and then maybe at the end, the winner of the Arizona League and the winner of the Florida League might get together somewhere and play it like a World Series, and that's how they would do it. All right, so, I mean, I get it, but how does that really stop anything from like, I think it's happening? more of just, like, to try to help get back to normalcy because all the teams would be in one spot quarantined together, basically, and, like, uh, they would they would probably... Uh, Still it puts, it puts, it puts to a themselves... Lot of, uh, it puts a lot of uh, trust in that the players aren't going to go out and do stuff they're not supposed to do. And that cannot be. People can't be trusted as far as I'm concerned. No, they just can't be. Can't be. Um, it, well, that was like Dana White was going to run out an island to do UFC events and yeah. fly fighters out there. And, like, and, and they're, like, saw. they're like, it's not essential. <laughs> but yet, WWE was granted to be essential. No, that's my oh. oh, okay. All right, cool. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll talk about that. <laughs> We'll, we'll get we'll have a whole a whole essential yeah story. these episodes aren't long enough for us to talk about everything so yeah 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 we so, give you well, what you we can two a week so we give you what we can have you ever heard of the the of a pomato plant a plumato a pomato plant pomato potato tomato yeah have you ever heard about that no they, this is the thing they have successfully grafted. A potato plant and a tomato plant. So your fries taste like ketchup. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. No, what essentially what it is is like above the ground, it grows it grows cherry tomatoes. <laughs> and then in the ground, it grows potatoes. And they, they don't grow naturally. They have to actually graft them. But they have – because they come from the same like genus or whatever. Sure. You can, like, I guess, like, you cut them, and then you basically, like, force them together and, like, tie them together, and they, like, grow wow. into each other. It's Franken plant. Yeah, and then, and then yeah, you can get tomatoes and potatoes from the same plant. We should do that. No. Why not? Because I ain't no freaking farmer. What the hell do I look like? <laughs> My farmer? thumbs is black, not green, fam. <laughs> What's that? What you say? <laughs> Wait, what'd you say is black? I said my thumbs is my black. My thumbs black, not green. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. What? I mean, facts, I guess. I'm not making a farm fresh freaking hybrid. I would love to see you out in like a field, like, tend to Wait, some what? corn. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? You would that. like to see me out in the field. Shut up. You know what I mean. <laughs> Do not twist this on me. <laughs> I'm not. You said I it. I got you. I get it. I get how it came from. But like, just me. I could just see like me and you out like tending to some corn. Like me and you. Yeah, out. I bet you would like to see me out <laughs> tending to some corn. I ain't doing it. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Funny enough, Jonas. Trying to associate with me in NASCAR races. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm just saying, <laughs> like. It's, it's like it is kind of funny like i feel like i ain't doing any type of farming because of the implications <laughs> it starts out with me just digging up carrots and the next thing i know i'm sitting in front of a cotton plant and i'm like wait a minute oh, how did i get here wow i'm not yeah so no well, like like <laughs> <laughs> no farming <laughs> no, like not, i won't even own a plant nope i'm not <laughs> growing a fern you're like don't even ask don't even ask me to water your palm tree you give me a bouquet of roses i'm like we'll punch you in the Throw, face throwing them in the trash right then and i there. will I'll fuck Jesus. you up wow <laughs> wow <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat a salad. That's the closest thing you get. I'll eat vegetables. That's it. Yeah. Man. What? <laughs> Have you ever played a NASCAR video game, by the way? No, Jones. I'm not playing a NASCAR Dude, game. I, like, when I used to work at, at Blockbuster, I would rent. Because I would get five free rentals a week. Yeah. So I would rent games I would never pay to rent. And I rented the NASCAR game one time. I'm sorry. It was the hardest thing ever to play. Yeah, man. They're like Sims, man. They're like real life racing Sims. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't no. like I don't like simulation. 
No, especially when it's translated to like a controller. If you get like the racing wheel and stuff. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm trying to be a third person view of the car with a controller, and you're trying to get me to simulate driving. I'm like, get the yeah. fuck out of here. With that. Like, look, if I want to do some dangerous driving, I can just get in my car and drive the streets of Austin, man. Like, right? you have a car. Why do I want to play drive the car on a video game? I yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, just, just don't wear a seatbelt and drive around in Austin. Wow, well, that would Th that'd be dangerous. <laughs> that would be dangerous, Well, I hope that you all wear your seatbelts. You should, dude. <laughs> I wear that B all the time. You didn't swear <laughs> enough this episode. Drop some fucks, man. What do you want me to do? Whatever, dude. You can't force profanity nah, from my mouth. You absolutely boat. can. No. I'll call you the dick guy. Get you all pissed I'm off. I'm not pissed. I'm happy, dude. Yeah. I'm in a good mood. All right, good. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, whatever, dude. I'm happy today. People out here dropping the N word and getting retribution, <laughs> dude. I'm I'm happy as a clam. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man. How makes happy me happy. As a clam. I'm pretty goddamn happy if it's anywhere near as happy as well, I am. It's bearded. Uh, Jonas. <laughs> why? It took what you, you a second. No, it, no, it didn't. <laughs> it took me a second to react because I didn't know the proper reaction. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna say your name, shake my head. It's <laughs> just like every other time. Yeah, you're just like, keep it yes, Jonas. I'm I'm drinking some tea. <laughs> yes, Jonas, a bearded <laughs> clam. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen one of them? Welcome. I'm glad that I'm doing a podcast with freaking Kevin Hart over here, this <laughs> master of comedy. Is that what, Dana what? White? Dana, who is that? That's the guy who owns UFC. No. Oh. Not him. The president. Well, he he thinks he's funny, too. Dane Cook? Dane Cook! <laughs> that guy! How do you feel about Dane no, Cook? No, Jonas. I don't even know who that is. Yeah, he's a, he's weird. Is he, he's I'm not a big trash. fan of Dane Cook. I'm not a big fan of Dane Cook? He was he was popular for a minute. Uh, yeah, he was the biggest comedian for a while. And there. then everyone was like, oh, he's a D. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how many comedians are really dicks. All of them. Probably. All of them. They yeah. all just talk shit about each other. Yeah. I mean, I think that's what happens in any caddy industry. <laughs> They're all like, mm, Dane industry. Cook, he's a real prick. <laughs> I think that all industries are caddy industries. That's true. Everyone's like, I'm the best video store employee. Fuck Steve. <laughs> I bag groceries way better than Jennifer. <laughs> She's a slut. Whoa. See, you know, we always go along like, why, what? This hypothetical woman, you got to, like, slut shame her. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm sh it's not the question of whether she is or isn't. That's just shaming her by calling yeah, her. Yeah, she's a free spirit, Jonas. She you let Jennifer all live. She wants, dude. Dude, fucking free Jennifer. Yep. <laughs> Hashtag free Jennifer. <laughs> if you listen to this, put free Jennifer in the comments. Six nines out of prison. Speaking of which, Jonas, I have not heard anything about him. Uh, he made a little joke about, hey, man, I'm gonna snitch on you. Ha 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 ha. That's not the joke he should be making. That is, oh, uh, that's all the jokes he can make. You can't make no, you can't tell a knock knock. <laughs> knock knock, who's there? I snitched. Motherfucker, you snitched. You can't tell <laughs> knock knock jokes no more. You lost your knock knock privileges. <laughs> Jesus. Well, knock knock. Is that the end of the episode? <laughs> that's the end of the episode. I knew it was coming. <laughs> that is all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you've already done that, go on Spotify, iTunes, leave some reviews, subscribe, tell your grandma, follow us, go on Twitch, look for TNT Dynamite on there. Yeah, every morning at 9, except for this morning because we're recording. Or any other morning that he's not on. <laughs> yeah, but if you go there at 9, dude, there's a good dang Especially chance. Especially during the week. It's like a 90% you say chance. say weekdays at 9. Because that's more guaranteed. That is 100% guaranteed. Yeah, so, but. Yeah, but all right, everybody. For Jonas. And TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. We. Or. Reap. Oh.